Hey, it's random code here, and today I want to showcase a little program I created where we can edit the values in a table view. So I have been creating already a few videos about the setup of a table view that will be linked in the description, but for now I'll showcase how we can actually edit the data. So let's say for example we have this table view with an ID type and name. I can then click on the first one, for example, which is the cat Bella. Let's say she have a name change, so we just B, for example. But then submit it and it updates inside my table view. Or similarly, let's say the Bob Bob the Bear is no longer a bear, but Bob is now a dog. It's updated. So just very simply, click on something on the table view and then get a data in this input fields, and they can then be changed and submitted. So first let's have a quick look inside scene builder. Just have my table view, some table columns, have a V box containing some text elements and my input fields, and the submit button. Inside the controller, we just very simply have the table views again, and the uh, table view itself, and the table columns, and the table view is just called animals. So whenever I refer to animals, it is the table view. And as mentioned, if you want to see more about how we actually set it up using that cell value factories and property value factories and so on, it'll be linked in the description for those videos. Otherwise, so the table is set up to work with this animal object. So we just input this object inside our table and it's automatically going to be filled out with the ID type and name. And then have my two methods, which is what we're mainly doing, the submit and the unrow collect. And we have a setup table, which is simply is called when we initialize the window to just create some animals and add them to my table view. But whenever we then click on something on the table, call this method row clicked, which is simply a uh, on the table view if we can find it, and mouse click event. And we can simply get an animal from the table view by doing animals table view dot get selection model dot get selected item. And we then take the ID, the type and the name and put them into our input fields over here. Whenever we then change these and click submit, and then get all the animals from my table by simply doing creating an observable list and then getting all the items from my table view, which is also a so a list containing all the animals in this case. We then get the input ID, which is the ID of the current, which is this one, so the current picked animal. We then go through all the animals inside my observable list and then find one matching with the ID that has been currently picked and then changes the name or the type and the name for the currently picked animal to match what is inside these input fields. So technically if you just click one and then click submit, nothing happens because we're just updating in this row to match these inputs, which in this case is the same. And then at the end, we just set the items of our table view to the newly changed observable list. And we then need to refresh our table view. If we don't refresh the table view, nothing's going to change. Then we don't see the changes made in the observable list, which is kind of like back end of this table view. And then in the end, we just break to get out of the for loop. So let's say we're just looking for the first element. We don't need to check if the other elements match because we already found our matching element. And because we're using IDs, which should be un uniquely identifiable, we then simply just check on the IDs because we're not going to have any IDs that are the same. One other thing to notice, we're just doing like a linear research, but as simply checking every animal in our observable list, there's definitely some other algorithms that would be better if we had a lot of data, but for now, which is fine. So this is a simple concept of how we set up a table view. And we then just, whenever we click on one of the elements, we get the data from the clicked element, and we then change it to match what's inside some input fields. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase of how we can edit a table view inside JavaFX, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.